Well, well, well. I'm going to expose this till kingdom come. If you don't like it, move on. But on this channel, we talking about end time living and how we can meet the most high God in peace. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord coming, for it is nigh at hand. should know by now Joe Steen's a fraud but people still flock to his church every Sunday let's talk about this shoe a lot of people hitting me up asking me for my opinion well it's self-explanatory I mean it's a satanic shoe he works up in the devil got the star the satanic star they got the 666 on there showing that it's only making 666 shoes they got supposedly blood in it on the bottom. And then they got Luke ten eighteen, where the verse talks about I beheld Satan fall like lightning. So it's just wicked. He comes out with a satanic video. I don't think nobody should watch it. I couldn't watch it. It's too just too crazy. But I heard about it. This guy just worshiping the devil. And he wants to take you guys along. Red Table for sure. I'm excited for this show. Let me ask all the women out there a question. If your entire life you've been attracted to only men, do you think you could ever fall in love with a woman? Mm. Damn. Yeah. Was there ever a time that you were ever attracted to a woman, thought about being with a woman or anything of that nature? I mean, of course you think about it, but I just never, I, I just never had that attraction. So I just couldn't get there. I just wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me either. I love being amongst women, but I never could connect to women romantically. Yeah. But it's not to say that it couldn't be yeah you just never know exactly i could see you falling in love with a woman one day i've had my fair share of like swooning and feeling like, oh my god she's so beautiful she's so talented i've swooned this, this. a lot i will say that yeah I, exactly. i've gotten i've had two times i've been like infatuated with a woman if you don't know who that is that's jada pinkett smith will smith's wife the fresh prince star her mother and her daughter sitting at a table discussing homosexuality, the love for the same sex. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, as is the mother, so is her daughter. Three generations talking about sin, things that the Lord hate. Man, oh man, could you imagine? Where is Will Smith, the dad of the house, to shut this down? But he goes along with it, with the same sex. He goes along with that, too. So sad. Let me, let me answer that personally. Because the Bible says in no uncertain terms that no homosexual or adulterer will ever inherit the kingdom of God. Now, I know for some, it, 
may be a little confusion because in the King James it says the wages of sin is death. And yet in the Mirror Bible it says the rewards of the law is death. Well, how do you hook that together? Well, first of all, understand the devil is not trying to get you to sin. He's just trying to get you to keep the law. Because if he can get you to keep the law, you will sin. not trying to get you to sin he's just trying to get you to keep the law because if he can get you to keep the law you will sin the devil is not trying to get you to sin he's just trying to get you to keep the law because if he can get you to keep the law you will sin what bro what are you talking about man creflo dollar's a fraud he always been a fraud and always gonna be a fraud if he could tell you something to please your flesh so you could keep giving him money that's what he's going to tell you. The Lord says this. Do we then make void the law through faith? Like, do we stop keeping the law through faith? God said, God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. It means we keep it. I mean, how can people continue to go to this church? He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sent it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. God telling us right here the difference. The people who belong to the devil and the people that belong to God. I just wanted to come on here real quick just to keep showing y'all we are living in the last days. It's not time to be playing around with the Lord, keeping your word and study. These people are pushing the agenda fast. They want your children. They want you. And they're going to do everything they can to push it in front of our eyes from celebrities to your parents to families through your children, they are going to do it. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Look at this celebrity right here. I'm telling y'all, it's going to get worse and worse. That's Usher, a singer. But I'll come on here just to tell y'all, we live in the last days and continue to seek the Lord and study his word. Study to show that self approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. In that video where that pastor was lying on the ground, supposedly he dies every week. And the only time he gets back up is when they start piling money on top of him. I can't believe people believe that kind of stuff. It's just ridiculous. Every week he dies and gets back up only for money? That should tell you something. People are spiritually blind their eyes can't see and their ears can't hear but they'll get mad at me for speaking truth like this but the lord said it'll be like this in the last day study study y'all study stay focused on the lord